we've all heard that love can cross all boundaries. This dog, named Lou, raised three tiger cubs abandoned by their mother. Onlookers were amazed by the bond that unfolded between the cubs and the dog. Unfortunately, the time came when they had to be separated because the tiger cubs grew larger. However, two years later, Something happened that no one could have ever imagined. Z Ling, also known as Jim, was a highly regarded animal advocate with extensive studies in the field and a deep commitment to protecting all creatures. He dedicated his efforts to safeguarding animals in any way possible. When he secured a permanent consulting position at the local zoo, he recognized it as an opportunity to make an even greater impact. Jim wholeheartedly embraced his role, providing expert guidance on the appropriate care, treatment, and social needs of the zoo's diverse animals. Beyond his professional responsibilities, Jim remained actively involved in animal rescue initiatives outside of work. During one of his daily commutes to the zoo, he unexpectedly came across a heart-wrenching situation. A precious Labrador puppy had been abandoned. Left vulnerable and alone on the street. Jim scooped up the helpless pup without hesitation. Determined to give her the love and care she deserved. Fondly naming her Lou, he decided to make her a part of his family. As a result, Lou had the unique opportunity to grow up within the vibrant atmosphere of the zoo. Right alongside Jim, she quickly became a beloved canine among the zoo staff. Winning their hearts effortlessly, Lou relished her daily routine of accompanying Jim. To work with great enthusiasm, she embarked on her rounds, dutifully checking on all the resident animals alongside her human companion. While she couldn't physically interact with them inside their enclosures, she would greet them with a wagging tail and a friendly gaze through the glass barriers. Throughout the day, she eagerly lent a helping paw to the zoo staff, assisting in various ways. Sometimes she would carry goods or simply offer a calming presence to other needy animals. Jim cherished Lou's presence and found immense joy in her company. Their bond brought them both immeasurable happiness and a sense of gratitude for the unique companionship they shared in their zoo adventures. Jim actively participated in various organizations dedicated to rescuing and protecting wild animals whenever he had spare time. These organizations would contact him for assistance in capturing distressed creatures or seeking his expertise on the next steps for rescued animals. Three years after Jim had rescued Lou, he received an urgent call from a countryside agency. That left him deeply concerned. They informed him about three abandoned tiger cubs left without their mother. The gravity of the situation struck Jim profoundly. Such calls were rare. Usually involving injured birds or smaller urban animals. The fact that these helpless cubs had been deserted hinted at a tragic fate for their mother. Understanding the urgency, the organization stressed the desperate need for a suitable place to shelter the cubs. Their efforts thus far had been in vain. Jim, without hesitation, offered the zoo as a haven for the young felines. Grateful for his swift response, the organization eagerly accepted his offer. Knowing that the cubs would find solace and care under Jim's watchful eye. Considering the tiger cubs' need for round-the-clock care and nurturing. It became evident that they required. An environment capable of providing adequate protection. However, Jim couldn't help but wonder how Lou would react. To the presence of these larger felines. As the cubs arrived at the zoo the following day. Jim and the staff gathered around them with anticipation. The sight of the cubs was mesmerizing. Their fluffy coats indicated their youthfulness. 
they were immediately taken to the zoo's hospital section for a thorough examination. To Jim's surprise, Lou seemed unusually captivated by the cubs. It was as if some primal instinct had been awakened within her. She was utterly fixated on the newcomers and made every attempt to draw closer to them. Once the cubs received their checkups and necessary medication, the veterinarian suggested allowing Lou to interact and observe their interactions. Little did anyone know what would unfold next. To everyone's astonishment, the Labrador immediately embraced the tiger cubs, as if they were her offspring. With tender licks and a protective demeanor, she gathered them close to her belly, ensuring they were warm and safe. It was evident that she perceived them as her babies. And miraculously, the cubs accepted her as their mother. This extraordinary bond left the veterinarian and Jim in awe. Realizing the rarity of such a phenomenon, human intervention could never replicate the profound connection that had formed between Lou and the cubs. Recognizing the immense benefit this could bring to the cubs' well-being, they let Lou explore her natural maternal instincts. During the nights when Jim would return home, he entrusted Lou and the cubs to the care of the hospital wing. Lou approached her role with utmost dedication, taking her mothering responsibility seriously. For nearly three months, she fulfilled the duties of a nurturing mother, grooming the cubs, aiding their feeding, and correcting their behavior when necessary. Observing the changes in the cubs as they blossomed was a truly captivating experience no longer timid. They grew into confident and energetic young cats under Lou's loving care. The zoo staff did their best to prolong the time the tiger cubs and Lou spent together as an unconventional family. However, the moment arrived when they had to be separated. The cubs needed to socialize with other large cats. While Lou required protection from their powerful claws and teeth, Initially, Lou appeared saddened by the separation. But she found solace in knowing that. Her beloved cubs were growing and thriving in their own way. Although there were no plans to reunite them. Fate had a different plan in store. Remarkably, an extraordinary event unfolded two years after Lou. And the cubs had been separated. It occurred in the heart of summer during the region's stormy season. The zoo had weathered its fair share of storms in the past. But none compared to the magnitude of the massive typhoon. That swept in one fateful day. Within the zoo, Jim and his colleagues swiftly sprang into action. Prioritizing the security and safety of the animals. Unfortunately, amidst the chaos, they inadvertently overlooked Lou. Unaware of the storm's profound impact. Lou had an intense aversion to storms. This particular tempest affected her greatly. Overwhelmed with fear. She could only comprehend the urgent need to. Seek shelter from the relentless rain and howling wind. In her panic-stricken state. She inadvertently ran over a wall and tumbled into. A fenced area she had long forgotten. This was the enclosure of the adult tigers. Just after Lou entered the tiger enclosure, Jim saw the encounter happening from afar. When he finally arrived through the storm, he was ready to intervene but came to an abrupt halt. When something remarkable happened, gradually, the majestic tigers revealed themselves. One by one, a total of six. In their formidable presence, their gazes fixed upon Lou viewing her as a potential threat. However, in an unexpected turn of events, movement caught Lou's attention beyond the initial six tigers fixated on her. Three more tigers appeared before her in a flash of stripes, positioned between Lou and the original six. To Jim's astonishment, the additional three tigers were not facing her, but rather their fellow peers. 
It was as if they had formed a protective barrier around her. She became visibly less frightened when she realized that they were the three cubs she had once fostered and raised. The bond they had forged remained unbreakable. In the presence of the younger tigers, the older cats gradually eased their tension, realizing that Lu posed no threat. Nonchalantly, the rest of the tigers strolled back to their respective positions, settling down together to weather the storm. However, an even more extraordinary moment unfolded. With the threat of the storm subdued, the young tigers turned their attention to, showering their adoptive mother with love. Overjoyed to see her again, they huddled around Lu, ensuring her safety throughout the storm in their unique way. The tigers remembered Lu as the one who had shown them love during their infancy, and they found a way to repay her. This story reminds us of the incredible power of love that transcends boundaries. Imagine witnessing a Labrador fostering and caring for tigers or witnessing grown tigers cuddling with a dog. Such extraordinary displays of affection and connection between different species are truly remarkable and heartwarming. The stray cat comes to the farm every day. When the farmer found out the real reason for these visits, he was shocked and unable to speak. Willie and his family live in a kibbutz in Sheffield in the mountains of Judea, Israel. The 56-year-old man runs a small dairy farm, where he raises Israeli and Holstein cows to produce milk. Willie takes good care of his cattle and ensures that only the best milk is produced. He often asks veterinarians to inspect cows and ensure compliance with all production written laws and codes of conduct. The farmer is also a very kind man, living a simple life with his wife and daughter. His wife works as a teacher outside kibbutz, and his daughter stays with other children in the community, while he takes care of livestock. Although he likes to obey the rules, he is very friendly to his staff and gentle to animals. All his workers proved it and loved him for it. Willie is not a typical farmer. Yes, he did it himself, cleaning the cow sheet and milking with the staff. But he also had another life outside the farm. In fact, this man is also a nature photographer. He had a gift for taking pictures from an early age. And when he finally took over the family business, he continued his lifelong enthusiasm. He filmed everything that happened on the farm. From extraordinary events such as the first step of a newborn or calf to seemingly ordinary things, such as cow feeding or rumination. His paintings are so good that people often buy them to make him more money because of the public nature of the settlement. Living in kibbutz gave him the opportunity to film many other events. Willie found that he needed to take care of more animals than his cows. He helps neighbors take care of their farm animals. Sometimes horses, donkeys, rabbits and ducks wading in a small pond. There are all kinds of animals there. And he is glad to have the opportunity to watch and photograph them. The kind farmer also fed stray cats and dogs wandering near his farm. They always come to them, and every time he prepares something for them. Some of them even become daily visitors. Among them, a group of three stray cats come to the farm every day to drink a bowl of milk. One of the three cats is a beautiful female cat with ginger and white fur named Missy. She is very friendly and spends most of her time running around the farm. This lovely cat is famous for its adventurous spirit, naughty attitude and love of exploring farms. She will bask in the sun all day, play with other animals, and always try to make farmers smile. Willie likes to take pictures of cats, especially Missy, because she always has an attitude that matches every day. Sometimes she is happy and sociable. 
while at other times she is introverted and quiet. No matter how much personality she has. The naughty cat is very likable and everyone likes to have her around. Every morning, whenever the cats come in. The farmer knows that they have only one task, to drink milk. However, Missy began to behave strangely. The cat will drink the milk greedily and then slip out of the crowd. No one knows where she often disappears. But they will see her again later in the day. Drenched, trying to shake off the water from her fur. It's always an interesting sight. But no one pays much attention to it. They all thought she was out to play. If they really stop to think. They will notice that it hasn't rained for some time. So the young lady can't just get wet by the water. This trend continued for several days. The elder sister and the younger sister will stroll in with their friends. Drink some cat food and rush out. Many farm workers ignore Missy at all. The cat sometimes behaves a little abnormally, but she is obviously healthy and happy. They have no reason to worry. Despite his busy schedule, Willie kept a close eye on the ginger kitten. Sometimes she went back to the grassy hut. And her ginger fur was dyed green. She was always wet, too. Covered with something that looked like water but could be something else. Drops of water fall off when she shakes. But her fur always seems to stick to her body, as if bathed in some kind of sticky gel. The night pool was curious but couldn't figure it out. So it went on with its daily activities. He did not expect that he would soon find out. The astonishing reason behind the young lady's strange behavior. One day, when he was walking every day, he saw a very strange sight, which made him scream in shock. In the distance, the night pool saw a bloody attack. From where he stood, a calf on the farm seemed to be stepping on a smaller animal with ginger fur. The calf is still small by cow standards. But it is several times bigger than other animals. If it is distracted by the delicious grass at its feet. It will eventually kill the small animal. The shocked photographer could not understand the sign in front of him. And ran to observe it carefully and might save the poor thing. When he got there, he realized that the creature he saw was a cat. In fact, it is not an ordinary cat, but Ginger Tabby Missy. Close enough, he could see that she was not in any danger. It turned out that the calf was fully aware of her existence. And walked cautiously beside her. The two were a strange pair, but when Yoki watched them longer. He realized that he was witnessing an unusual friendship between cats and cows. The man overcame the initial shock and found this side very agreeable. It suddenly dawned on him that this was the place. Where cats would always come after breastfeeding. However, this does not explain why Missy is always drenched at the end of the day. Amused by his unexpected discovery. He decided to track the cat the next day to solve the newly discovered mystery. He can't be ready for what he's about to discover. Early the next morning, the eldest lady and her cat friends came to the farm and, as usual, drank a lot of milk and slipped away. The night pool saw her sneak out and followed her from a distance. He saw her go to the cow sheet and silently poked his head into the barn and looked at her. She passed several stalls and then stopped at a special booth. When he realized what she was doing, he could not help letting out a low scream. The cat went to the same calf the day. Before and they snuggled up to each other. Then the cow begins to lick the cat. Which is a cleaning ritual. The cat stayed, and the enthusiastic calf washed her thoroughly with her tongue. Although the eldest lady was not happy. She did not want to go away. The slightly disgruntled cat seemed satisfied with. The heifer's unusual gesture of love. She even raised her chin so that the big animal could easily grab her neck. 
About an hour later. They lay with their heads together. The night pool immediately realized how much the two admired each other. So, that's why Missy came to the farm, she has a best friend. The surprised man was amazed at the wonderful friendship. Shown by the strange couple. After watching for a while. He decided to take pictures of them. Not wanting to frighten them. He kept his distance as he clicked on the camera. The animals stay together all day. Play and enjoy each other's company until the evening. Then, before the cat walked away. The calf gave it one last drooling kiss. Missy, who came to the farm in the morning, is now back with wet fur. Mystery solved. From that day on. The farmer went to them every day to see their beautiful friendship. Missy comes back to see her cat friends every day. And their friendship blossoms and bears fruit. While they gain friendship. We also see the pure feelings between animals. The cat found a way to get love and affection.